Oh my god, this is, should not exist. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> it's not fair, dude. <laughs> it's just not cool. I don't think this should exist, guys. I don't know, man. Hey, buddy, watch this. Okay, this, um... This combination doesn't work well with guardian animals, but I think we still probably want an early nature studies. This is so good, do I keep it or do I have to mulligan for more overgrowths, actually? I don't know, we saw the mulligan win rates were not particularly good on these cards. They were stronger on overgrowths, speaker Gidra. I think I'm still gonna keep this. Druid, we have a little bit of time, but I don't wanna fall behind. I wanna be, well, guardian animals isn't too bad from behind, I guess. Let's keep these two and see what we can do. Find an overgrowth, find. Find Gidra. Yeah, now we need Kelthos. Now we need Kelthos. Nature's blessings upon you. Ooh, that's what we needed. That's nice. So we want to coin. Like again, nature studies great, but it, coin overgrowth would still be a possibility. So I guess um we're gonna play the overgrowth on three regardless, right? So let's go ahead and get the nature study mana in now. We can hero power on two, which is great. Uh, you know, Gift of the Wild's pretty awesome with Kael'thas, oh, no but so way. is Moonfire. That said, Overflow is such a good card in this list, I might have to take it. We don't have the zero mana spells currently, we have more payoff spells, but I don't have Reload currently, so I'm gonna take the Reload for now. Overflow actually had like the fifth highest mulligan win rate so far in the stack, which is kinda crazy. Uh, yeah, so guys, again, alerts, oh my god, alerts will be on soon, just not yet. Soon. After this time. Okay. So we can actually coin Guardian Animals next turn, which I think we will. Sadly can't kill that, but uh, it's okay. Uh, guys, so deck recommendations are great. I'm, I love us talking about it, but we aren't doing anything in this deck. This is the highest win rate spell druid on HS Replace. So I didn't make any decisions about this list. I'm not vouching for anything. The data so far, limited sample size, of course, but the data so far is telling us that this is the best build right now. Will it be in a week? No, of course not, but it is right now. So, uh, But I didn't make any decisions about this list. So there's we built a... Very different list. So I guess I did really build a list, but uh, if I built it, I'm sure it would look very different. But this is currently the uh, the number one option. Okay, that's the right set of beasts. We didn't need a Lake Thresher. Couldn't attack anyway, right? So I just wanted the kind of meatier, better beasts there, and I think that's certainly the package there that we liked. So Iron Bark's probably going to be nice here. His Guardian Animals, unfortunately, does get rush value, perhaps immediately, which is tough. I need to find Kael'thas to get Survival of the Fittest going ASAP. Um, okay, that's an interesting attack. Implies there's no Guardian Animals. Just Crystal Power, wow, okay. Oh, his list is very different. It seems like he might be running maybe that Tice list we talked about more of. Really not loving our lines here, right? I think we have to open with the Guardian Animals. Do we iron bark it first in any world just to keep it alive? I don't, I don't think so. I said guardian animals. I meant Twilight Runner. I think we all knew what I meant. <laughs> Maybe we didn't, but <laughs> we should have. We should have. Oh, man, I need overgrowth now. Or overflow. God, not overgrowth. Overflow, but our hand's too full. Yeah, I, I need to play the overflow, right? I think, anyway. I don't know if that's true or not, but it, it feels like I do. It's a good heal on this minion as well, so I think that's a nice bonus. I get to play my, my dude as well, so I don't burn a card. It's a pretty nice turn. I, I feel like I was wasting a lot of stuff uh, where I don't get to, like, Kael'thas with it or whatever, but ultimately, a nice turn. We hold this in case we do hit a Kael'thas. We want to make sure we can go free Survival of the Fittest for a big, big swing. Ah, uh, he hits Guardian Animals off the top. Okay. Good line there, but he does expose that for a crystal power, which is cool. Kel'thas. Kel'thas. Everybody say it. Kel'thas. Fog beam trade. Okay, that's actually really good, too. Kel'thas. Kel'thas. 
<laughs> if, you, if you do it like that, he comes. He's he's beckoned. Kill us. He wasn't beckoned, chat. But we did get a survival of the fittest, but I don't have any minions on board. I don't think I can play it without any minions on board, right? I mean, maybe. But I also really want to kill that, which I can honestly still do. Do I play it? Maybe I do just play it without minions on board. I don't know if that's optimal or not. Nature's blessings upon you. I just don't know. Last time it didn't feel so good, but it does make every minion draw and the minion in hand just notably insane. Okay, we're gonna still do everything we want, so I guess we're gonna do it. Um, the Innervate, I think, is what... But I, I don't think I'd do this without Innervate, because I really, really think I need to kill this, given how few cards he has. If I didn't have the Innervate, I wouldn't do that. But since I had the Innervate to clear that minion, I'm, I'm game. I'm game for it. So now we'll top deck Kael'thas without any mana t <laughs> to use it, sadly. <laughs> we'll only have seven mana next turn, so... Uh, we won't have a zero mana spell to activate it, right? Okay. Guardian animals off the top. Ysera instead. Oh my. Okay. It's a big Ysera chat. I like it. All right. Let's just play this dude. Um, you know, I, I think we're going to iron bark Ysera, so I don't think I'm going to iron bark that. It's, it, it dies to trades, but that's okay. It's, it's doing its job, right? It's, it's equalizing the board, which is just fine. <laughs> Everybody's like, do it. <laughs> Are you talking about the the uh, survival? I don't even know what you guys were talking about. I think so. Oh, down to one beast. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing he's not running Lake Thresher or it's in hand. One of the two. Good ordering there. You don't want to attack first because you might accidentally pull your beasts. Ooh, interesting. Um, not interesting. <laughs> Totally not interesting at all. This is certainly fine, though. I think we'll crystal power that 3-2, actually. My dream, is your My dream is your nightmare. I'm not going to crystal power the 4-2, right? Because it summons another minion. This takes the most actual attack out of play, which seems cool. All right, so a lot of Dream Portals in the deck, so Overflow is looking awesome. It's probably also just going to heal Ysera a ton as well. So that's nice. I hope he attacks here. Gives me... He shouldn't ever, but I hope he does. Oh, actually, I can just attack that now. That's cool, too. Well, it, it doesn't help a ton, I guess, because of the Overflow. <gasps> Kill us. But I don't have a way to play it right now. Yeah, I guess we'll go here just to maximize Overflow value, right? Kel'Thas may be insane next turn, but not this turn yet. Portal. If any other draws, Bog Beam would be kind of cool, I guess. I think our Guardian Animals is very likely to be dead at this stage, sadly. That's a little roll. The 8 8's amazing, though. Am I burning cards at all? I didn't even really check. Bog Beam, perfect. That way I don't burn. I still have Kael'thas activation. Still have a hero of power to get some life. Okay, perfect. Uh, no, I actually am glad we didn't get every dragon. I, well, I guess Druid, though. Maybe I, I wish I had every dragon, honestly. Druid's not typically very good at dealing with dragons, right? And I have Survival of the Fittest, so... I guess more minions would be better in every case. But next turn, we'll just go, like, Kael'thas, Innervate, something. Maybe, honestly, Overgrowth, because I don't really need to use the Lightning. The lightning bloom and that could uh overload me for the following turn too much okay dragon v dragon he doesn't have survival of so i have to oh my god that could be scary with bog beam uh oh he's got a bog beam left he could just wipe my 8-8 from out of nowhere oh my god his dragons are way better so far oh my god Actually, do I have a turn where I can overflow and survive the fittest with Kel'Thas? Nature studies would definitely open that up. Because then I could get more dragons on board. Although, honestly, at that stage, do I even need it? Because I might be able to Kel'Thas. Yeah, actually, I can Kel'Thas Lake Thresher. That's fine. And then survive the fittest. The way I get a second minion buff guaranteed. I, I hope my board doesn't get too full. Although, I can always trade in the Brightwing and 
make space for Kelpas as needed. He's trying to cycle into more dragons. He does. As time expires, it's going to hit Nazdormu, and I'm not going to get to play the game. Okay, he did get a low roll there. I don't actually want too many dragons here. One-ish would be perfect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. What? Um, I don't even know what to do now. Um, I guess I still kill Thos? <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't really need to anymore, but I just want a good minion. Maybe actually the Lake Thresher is better that way so I can save Kael'thas for later. Yeah, let's just go Lake Thresher. And do I even maybe put in a Twilight? I wish I had a Ghidra, dude. Ghidra is really all that I need. Like, man. I think we'll just wait on the Kael'thas. There's no reason to hurry now. Need to figure out the right breakpoints here, though. This is an awkward minion to hit, sadly. Here's 15, I guess. That's fine. Is this just lethal? Oh, probably close enough. Yeah. Oh, this can't attack yet, so it's not lethal. Oh, God. I hope I'm not dead here. Oh, God. I hope I'm not dead here accidentally. I left a lot of spell damage up. But I don't think I die, right? This doesn't give him any damage output, really. He has to clear the board as best he can. I mean, even the Ysera's a 13-23 at this stage. I could be dead, though, still. Oh, God. I hope I didn't accidentally give him a lethal out. I, I don't know, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah, a double swipe or something would be pretty brutal. It's not expected to see a swipe, but yeah. I don't know. She's got to push through a giant taunt as well, so I don't think I don't think he should have any more damage than I did unless the breakpoints are just somehow perfect. Oh, wow. That doesn't hurt. That doesn't hurt. That's 25 damage he's looking at, so he can't kill me. He's got to trade. Probably should have killed the Maligos or something just to be safe. I don't know. He could have, like, double Moonfire, I guess. This <laughs> is probably something, but... <laughs> Eh, maybe the risk was the right amount of risk. Who knows? This is insane, though. Look at this stupid Thresher. This game was ridiculous. This deck's so stupid. Oh, look at that Ghidra! Look at this Ghidra! I just want to BM a little, guys, with this insane Ghidra. Look at this. Look at that! Oh wait, was something still zero mana? Wait, why did she not get much bigger? Wait, I thought I was playing a seven mana spell. Why didn't she get any bigger? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I know that Caligos is there. I threw away a card and then I thought I played a seven mana card, but maybe Kel'Thas made it zero again? Either way, that was completely disgusting. And again, probably not even optimal. I must protect the wild. Hoping we could, ooh, very interesting hand. Very interesting hand. Okay. I think that's a keep. <laughs> um, I gotta decide if I want to overgrowth on three or not. Do I need the nature studies for the Kael'thas turn? I guess it kind of depends. Oh, man. The only thing is, like, what if I get, what if I get Innervate? Same difference. <laughs> um, because, if, you know, if I, if I overgrowth on four, it's pretty natural into the Kael'thas. But over, Overgrowth on three, it's actually not that natural, but I could still coin the Kael'thas, I guess. I could still coin the Kael'thas, so maybe it's still right. Um, tree Enforcements is good with Kael'thas as well, okay. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just push the Overgrowths quicker. I need to hit another cheap spell, though. Need to hit another cheap spell. Bum, bum. Oh, well, actually, a few cheap spells would be nice, but at least one. This is where games just, like, devolve into degeneracy, I think. If I hit a zero minute spell here, I can go off on Kel'Thas this next turn. If I don't, I still have to wait. Okay, at least he spent mana on the overflow. That's good. Hit a zero minute spell. 
I need Innervate. 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 Or Lightning Bloom. Innervate. Twilight Runner is not an Innervate. Um, so I can't quite go Kael'thas yet because I can't get the second spell off. That's okay. I mean, Twilight Runner is... Actually, Lake Thresher might be better to develop um, as his own entity here, right? Just because he trades so well off the survival. But this could get me more Kael'thas activations as well. And it's more likely to survive. So I guess I'm going to Twilight Runner. Like, this is better at addressing his board, which he might have a board. But it's probably not going to be, like, three minions, is it? Could be if he's a Mount Seller deck. I don't know if he's a Mount Seller or if he's not Mount Seller. It's, there's both out there. So it kind of depends on what you think your opponent's going to be. And whether you think you want the cards or not. Now, how about... I just don't know. This is better against Survival of the Fittest because he can't trade into it, which is nice. Just the stealth aspect makes it more likely, or not Survival of the Fittest, excuse me, Guarding Animals. Uh, this is better for our Survival of the Fittest because it's, you know, very likely to survive. Maybe always survives against Druid, in fact. So that I know I have two things that get buffed, which is cool. Man, if I hit Overflow off the top, are we overflowing instead of survivaling? Just because we know we're going to have another Kael'thas activation if I overflow? We don't know, but it's pretty likely. Because we have Iron Bark, Bog Beam, and Innervate, and Lightning Bloom. There's eight cards in the deck that would enable that. Actually, even one mana spells would too, right? Because... No, no, no. Only nature studies. Oh, that's so slow. No way. No way. That's so slow. That's so slow. You have every card? Uh, I think we did. Yeah, I think we crafted everything that we didn't have. So I think so. Hmm, interesting. I would consider that a very weak turn. I guess we never would have overflowed anyway because we have the um, the Twilight Runner, right? So it doesn't really matter. My people are addicted to it. That does deny that trade, though, which is really annoying. Oh, well, no, it doesn't really, though, because I have Survival of the Fittest, right? So never mind. What am I saying? <laughs> um, oh, this actually is kind of a waste, though, now that I look at it. Shoot. No, I have to do it this way. Yeah, it's kind of a waste. I need. I just need to hit um, another zero mana spell. Oh, we did. Okay. Uh, although now I don't really have anything to play anyway, so maybe we're just chilling. Mm, this still feels kind of right, though. I don't know. Just to protect my board in case he's doing like an innervate survival or something. Yeah, that's fine. Remember, I wasn't actually a 10, so the ramp's sort of decent, right? The ramp kind of matters. I can't win them all. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> all right, we were only at, at seven, so. I mean, I was, I was overloaded, so it didn't matter immediately, perhaps. Although it did still matter, yeah. The ramp was still good. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> this deck should be illegal, yeah. I totally agree. I totally agree. I think it was wrong to play nature studies there instead of um, tree enforcements. I just don't think he really did anything. I guess it helped me find stuff sometimes. I did find the bog beam, which is really nice, didn't I? Yeah, it's probably right. It just feels weird because you lose the discount because you're discounting it to zero anyway from Kel'Thas. So, I mean, that was just a nut hand. Like that shouldn't, you know, that's crazy stuff. Um, okay, I'm actually gonna keep all three of these. As we found out, these are just so insane that I think it's worth keeping. It's weird that, I, I actually think it might be symptomatic of the problem of a deck like this when your highest win rate cards in the mulligan, Overgrowth and Gidra are actually number one and two right now. And again, low sample sizes, but you get the idea. Um, Overgrowth, we all kind of know that, but oh my God, perfect. But beyond that, the next three highest win rate cards in the stack are your seven drops. Guardian Animals, Overflow, and Kel'Thas are numbers three through five. When seven drops are that good, it's it's maybe indicative of an issue, right? It seems problematic. I don't think we're overgrowthing with a coin this turn, are we? Maybe we have to. We're running out of time. He's hitting us so hard already. I kind of need to bog beam, though. I think I'm just going to bog beam and overgrowth on four. Save coin for like... Ooh! Wait a minute, never mind. That gets me a Guardian Animals a turn sooner, right? Um, so coin overgrowth now. I mean, I, I kind of float a mana on the Guardian Animals or whatever, but that's okay. 
I don't mind floating a mana on that turn. That's all right. Lightning Bloom's still so good. Ooh, that is so low tempo. That is great news. That might actually give me time to pull this off. Okay. I still need a big recovery turn, so I need a good Guardian Animals. Oh, that's nice. I can actually um, use that this turn. Bites life gain, but Guardian Animals is how I win the game, right? That's fine. Go ahead and play this one as well. No, I'd rather be surprised. Never mind. Perfect set of minions. Get to wipe the board, so I might deny any sort of Greyheart Sage draw if he doesn't have another stealth, and a taunt, of course. It's also amazing. So, probably just going Speaker Iron Bark next turn. Which, that's great. I'm fine with that. We're setting up for a good overflow later. Can also bog beam if I want, but I don't really need to. Oh, Ironbark's free. It's not even that good with Gidra anymore, huh? <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> ah, um, shame I can't innervate a Guardian Animals. Maybe I should have played that. In fact, I think I should have played that Nature Studies at the end of my turn. I don't know if I ended up using that mana. Did I end up using that mana? Maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have banked that Nature Studies for this turn. Cause then I, oh no, I couldn't play this anyway. Cause innervate, no, never mind. Wouldn't have mattered. Okay, well, sadly, this doesn't do anything, but I think I'm gonna develop it for next turn off the overflow, right? I think we're just gonna go like here, then Gidra, so I don't use her um, spell burst yet. And then set her up for next turn, right? Like she may just be lethal next turn if I go here. She's 16 damage, so. Or here, whatever, but certainly this looks fine too. The preemptive Gidra is kind of crazy on decks that don't react to minions well. This is sort of nuts. I mean, this is stupid. Yeah, this is so stupid. This deck shouldn't exist. Oh my god. It's like you almost can't go wrong. My opponent got off to an insane start. They did, they did have a really bad turn four, though, to be fair. They had a totally dead turn four. All right. Um, I need probably one more good game of this one, guys. Maybe two more. Let's see. 13, 5, and 4. The problem is we keep winning too fast, so the YouTube video is going to have nothing in it because it's just people can see it immediately. <laughs> All right. Gidra's a good mulligan card, we know. Let's see what else we can find here. We need not that. It's all the healing. Maybe maybe this is a uh, burn shaman, though, and the healing will actually pay off. Who knows? Happy to have coin, certainly. Uh, would love to find an overgrowth. Would love to find Kel'thas. Lightning Bloom. Anything, really. Would be cool. This deck is highly immoral. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. This will probably be the last time we play Survival of the Fittest, unless it's a meme. So enjoy it. I don't think this is something we'll play often, guys. Savor it if you enjoy Survival of the Fittest. Enjoy your time. Uh, that's scary, but I mean, what can I really do? I'm going to Bog Beam it next turn as we currently stand, so I'm not even going to hit it. Hoping there's no, like, Serpent Shrine Portal. That's probably, like, his best play off of it. Just get more board and do some damage, you know? Hopefully he doesn't have anything yet. Oh, okay. Cool. Now I can... Oh! Uh, write that down. That's a big boy. It's not a threatening dude, at least. Uh, okay. We coin the overgrowth here. I don't need to yet, but it might matter. Because I could play a 5-drop and a crystal power. Could also hit Innervate into Overflow or something. Although, I don't know if that's any good right now. Ooh, that might have to get Bog Beamed. That could get scary. Anubisath, huh? Nature All right, I gotta decide what to do here because the numbers are weird. Um, I guess I'm actually just gonna kill that and go ahead and hit this as well. It's still fine on the trade and uh, of course now crystal power threatens it as well. Now that said, we're almost certainly gonna overflow into double Anubis at this turn, but that's okay too. Oh yeah, that's fine. Not even using his spell damage minion for spell damage. I think we count that a victory, don't we? Pretty weak turn there. Man, all, all things together, this is a pretty fantastic swing.
Uh, I could nature studies first, but I'm going to hang on to it. We don't really need to, and it might be better later when I know that I have, like, Kalthos Blaze and stuff. So we'll just hang tight for now. Okay, guardian animals, and we still have, actually, most animals in the deck, which is, at this stage, probably nice. We've drawn a lot already. We're halfway through the deck, practically, and still have animals, so. All right, so crystal power, guardian animals next turn looks just fine. Anubisat Defenders are just brutal, dude. It gives you so much time, particularly with Survival of the Fittest. It's so crazy. Kel'Thas here would be actually just fine because of the nature studies. Oh my god, this is, should not exist. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> it's not fair, dude. <laughs> it's just not cool. I don't think this should exist, guys. I don't know, man. What is going on, man? This <laughs> time, I I feel evil for showcasing this to the world, but I think five animals is enough. I, I just based on the fact that this is the highest win rate list. Yes, I mean I think I was running six with my animal deck, which was a very different deck, but five seems like fine. I mean, I, I honestly, I just don't want to play any more of this. It, it's just not fair. <laughs> I mean, even if it's not good. It may end up being, you know, tier two or something when people figure out enough aggro to beat it or whatever, but it still just feels bad. <laughs> it feels real bad.